Today we move into the stone room again to install the ceiling, building some wall plates to then hang the joists across. Just a quick recap of our other projects so far. We finished the beautiful wall outside this room, we finished the floor outside the container with the help of Enrique and Se. We also installed a septic tank, built a car park and moved an ancient olive tree with the help of Nunu and of course the garden still going. We filled in the room floor and have a great flat surface on it and also have a division wall for the future bathroom. But now we move inside again to install the ceiling which will be the start of what might be the feeling of an actual room. Something that I was almost sure I filmed was the planning on the wall plates. The wall plates are 10 by 7 centimeters and I have been notched for the joists to slot in which then will slot onto the main beam. Then rebar have been added onto the walls directly about 40 centimeters apart from each other and glued with bonding compound. Yeah, now this one's gone lovely. Good. It's time to start the plastering, which is a little bit nerve wracking because I've never done this before and it needs to be done. We are really behind schedule at the moment and we just have to get on with it. Anyway, so the plan is to um, disclaim I've never done this before. I don't know what I'm doing. If you see something that you find rather silly, please leave it in the comment section below and I can see if I can fix it later. <laughs> it would be lovely. Um, basically, I just need to, um, there's a lot of like what they call taper edge and butt edge, which is the cut edge. And they're not, they don't join the same because one's going at angle and the other one's going straight. So then you have an imbalance and you have to fit it so it's nice and straight. So I'm going to do that. You do that with a putty knife. I'm going to use this one because I really like how I'm really comfortable to use this one. And with some mix, leave it, let it dry. Then you taper it and then I'll taper everything that is actually a level. And then we can start the skin and plastering, okay? And um, it's, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, we've never done this before. It's a very tall structure. There's a lot of things to think about. But... You know, we can only aim the best that we can. Right, so I got my water, I got my other bucket where I'm going to do my mix, and then I can have my tools clean over here, and I'm just going to start and do my first ever mix of uh, blaster. Right. <laughs> Righty. So after watching several YouTube videos, as we do, I started this. This is now a tutorial, and I don't know what I'm doing, so I can't stress that out. We just had some lunch, really nice, made by Omar. <laughs> and I'm just going to tackle the bit on the top here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, you can. That bit over there, it's a little bit, it has like a styrofoam, the spray foam thing that we put before. And it's a little bit messy. I'm gonna try to repair it. 
and then I'm just gonna carry on with the rest. I think so far so good. Right, so we are putting in the notches of the main ceiling beam. Here it is. All ready. There's two that are already done. Okay, so we have done quite a bit today. There was it was a really productive day, so you saw all the plastering bits that I did in the extension and then all the stuff that was done inside the room. Oma had to do a lot of admin today because the season for Indigo travel is starting really soon, so Omar has to now go and sort that out because there's a lot of logistics that he has to do we run tours during the summer for language students and he's got back-to-back -back tours so i just came out for my massage i fell down i slipped uh, really badly while i was traveling costa rica with omar and uh, three years ago and this is the time that i had the chance to get someone to treat it which is amazing so if you need a massage therapist in the Villanova de Poyares area like and farther away like Arganeo, almost Espinal and so on let me know I got a really good contact she's amazing her name is Michelle and she sorted me out so well in just four sessions really grateful <laughs> anyway i just looked at the weather conditions for the week and it's gonna rain and i just have to plan everything i just i'm just gonna do it it's time i have been trying to organize it, see make it beautiful and so on but my plans really need to be planted now so i'm just gonna do that now <laughs> so i have been using this really cool app called veggie garden planner and it's, um, it tells you where you can put all your plants and which plants like each other and which plants don't like each other and which plants don't mind to be next to each other. So I don't know which ones are which. So this is being incredibly helpful because you don't want to put things next to other ones that don't like each other. For example, tomatoes and corn, you don't put them next to each other. They don't like each other for some reason. And it actually tells you why. So I have all my veggie patches over here and um, I can now see what I want to do, which is really cool. Okay. Peppers, basil. Swiss chart. gonna be a very happy happy plant I'm gonna give loads of cucumbers I'm gonna go there and then a brother is gonna go over here okay so I'm gonna do lots of space now okay you see all the digging out I did over there sorry you see all the digging out I did yeah there. it was re and really well done actually really good digging okay the first plant Woo! <laughs> Look at you! Cats! <laughs> no silliness. I had rainbow carrots, another kind of carrots, and I have to hurry up because it's starting to chuck it down. You know, we learn through mistakes. Hey, Omar. Better not be pulling around here, Missy. Hey? Like, 
in the video the other day. I'm going to go horrified with you pooing. The next day was a bit of a late start on the filming side, so naturally I missed most of the joys being placed. Luckily, I caught the very end of it so I could show you how they were placed and the finished work. It's the ideal home for them. angle has to cross there halfway. Okay, so today we're going to be working on a new project that you're only going to see a little bit more into the future, but uh, we're going to make the vanity unit for my mother-in-law's bathroom, basically. So we looked at all the ones that were available. We really hate MDF, so we're going to be using some pine and some plywood, which is a bit better than MDF. And I've drawn up some nice fans over here. As you can see, this is what we're going to be working from. And yeah, all I need now is some music. Hi, and welcome back to Glastonbury Festival 2023. Yeah, so one of the things that foreigners actually miss the most when they move abroad is not being able to access their favourite TV programmes and radio shows that they used to listen to. So right now I'm actually watching BBC Glastonbury, and uh, that's all thanks to NordVPN. 
VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, and in today's world, it's actually quite indispensable. Not only does it allow you to watch all your favorite channels from back home, it also protects you against a wide range of cyber attacks. So one of the things that affects us so much nowadays is called phishing, and that's when a scammer will send an email that looks really genuine, and it looks like it's from Netflix or Gmail or even your bank. You will be tricked into entering your sensitive information. Once you've done that, you press send, and the scammers have all of that vital information. So that's that's why NordVPN isn't just a VPN, it also includes a built-in threat protection filter that when you activate it, it will be able to scan any threats against phishing. So to watch your favorite TV shows, to get a super easy navigatable app, 24 seven hours of support, dark web monitor, and being able to connect six devices into one account, just click on the link down below in the description and you'll get four months extra for free. And you don't have to worry because there's a 30 day money back guarantee by NordVPN. So thank you very much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. It really helps us to create this kind of content. So, butternut squash, corn. Butternut squash, corn. Butternut squash, butternut squash, corn. Butternut squash, butternut squash, corn. And it's wide enough for the wheelbarrow to go through because I tested it. Yeah. What are you up to? I am making huh? pipe. Oh, the pipes. I just did a little bit of gardening, it's too hot, I'm drenched and I decided to come in here because I really need to start the plastering. <laughs> I just did the room yesterday, I could do the other side but I actually want to move on to this one because it really needs to be done and I'm a bit like, oh, okay, I have this massive washing machine in the middle to work with as well. So I'm just going to do the same as yesterday, screws, bits in the middle the tape, the top there, maybe we can do it with foam because it's quite a thick area to cover and because I won't be able to do it with anything else and then we can we can start and see what what, what we need to do later. <laughs> So I've been doing a lot of the corners over here, that one's done, I'm going to do that one there and then the idea is tomorrow I can plaster because um, I got the, all the, everything, everything is here apart from the stove which is super easy to get. Omar is doing stuff, I have realised that I haven't filmed a lot of Omar but Omar has been thinking that he's been the mall <laughs> uh, and he's just digging. But he's without his shirt on, so <laughs> So I just show you all the stuff that he's been digging. He had to dig a bit more of that and and all of this over here because Omar is basically sorting out all the drainage that's coming from there my mom's room and that's coming from here so then I need to plant all of that later today when it's a little bit nicer. And then over here, we've got Simon and the more stuff over there. I don't even know what he's doing right now. I think it's the electrics. The electrics being put on into the, into the, yeah, the lighting. There's a lot happening.
Okay, so it's come to the time of doing some skimming and uh, that's this is going to be the first haul. I really need this done soon because I really want to start building the kitchen cabinets and so on. Uh, we, we are in a, a little bit of a deadline, a bit of a stiff one as well. So anyway, this has been all taped and it's as straight as it can be. I could have probably built it up. I'm going to try to do that with the skimming because, you know, I'm a professional skimmer. <laughs> with good luck. <laughs> Well, as you can see, it's the first layer is done. I didn't film a lot of it because, to be very honest, I found it incredibly frustrating. I mean, I didn't want to show that side of me <laughs> on camera. It's not the finish I wanted. It's not finished yet. It needs another layer. So the layer, the second layer, is supposed to make it a little bit thinner. It's my first time I ever done this. It's super tricky to work with. So if you're a plasterer. My goodness me, it's hard work. But I show you the imperfections so you can tell. Because you can't tell. <laughs> that bit there. I'm just showing you all the imperfections. A lot of people try to make themselves look on YouTube. I'm trying to make myself really bad. <laughs> I'm just showing you all the wrong things that I did. Um, I did try to follow all the suggestions and you know tutorials on YouTube but these are done by professionals so of course it's gonna look lovely when they're doing it but you know it is what it is and um, at the end of the day it does go if he if he if the finish is slightly like this you see uh, it's perfect to put the second coat but I just can't do it right now I'm too tired um, it's really rustic finish if it, if there if it's a rustic finish, then it really goes with everything here. Maybe it's a good thing that it's a rustic finish because if it was too straight and, you know, clean cut, it might not actually go with everything around it. So I'm just trying to uh, look at the silver lining. <laughs> anyway, we'll continue tomorrow to the second coat. And then the plan is to the day after, I start the cupboards. Alrighty, it's the next day and it's looking a little bit <laughs> shabby chic for me <laughs> but um, I mean, I, I, to be very honest, you can't really expect anything better than this if you are doing this for the first time, in my opinion. I think what's happening is that I'm treating it like a multi-finish and I don't think this is anything like multi-finish. I think it's more like a compound filler and you have to go a lot thinner with it. I think that was my first mistake. I went far too thick with it. Um, but in contrast, because I've gone thick, I can actually sand it down now and it will look smoother and I won't, I won't get to the plasterboard. <laughs> Are you okay? 
tidy. I've got everything ready. Okay, so I have finished the wall and it was really difficult, look at my hands. <laughs> and it's still pretty, you know, not perfect. It's not going to be perfect. But it's better than the other ones, so that's a good thing. And over here, this is gonna be all exposed, so it's really important that it, that is as smooth as possible, so afterwards I'm gonna sand it down. But over here, because the covers are gonna go just here, right? It doesn't really matter. I mean, you always have to, you should always aim to do everything really nicely presented because of further problems that you can have later and so on. But you know what? I'm not gonna bother too much about it, especially the part where all of the drainage, drainage is. It's really difficult to plaster around there. So I'm just gonna, I just did the best I could and yeah, I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> what are you after then? Uh, trying to make a straight door frame. Okay. How's it going? Uh, yeah, it's fun. The, the wood is a bit bowed. Yeah, it's always fun that, isn't it? Mm. Look at that. We don't need straight stuff here. We're fine. The doors you do. <laughs> <laughs> the door will be straight. But over here we have some uh, bits that we need to sand. It definitely feels a lot smoother. So that second coat really went quite nicely and well. And the idea is Omar is working on the frame and we might actually start the cover today. It will be a great thing and I need to do a lot of washing up. So, lots to do. Meanwhile, Omar is sorting that out. I'm just going to show you what's been done in the, in the room, my mom's room. Yesterday, Simon did a lot of work and um, I'm just going to show you, it's looking a lot more like a room. I'm going to put two pieces of wood here and you're just going to adjust it so it's clamped and then we're going to... Can you use it like that? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And then this one goes where? Uh, just double this over. Oh, righty. In here, right? Yeah, but it's all just going to act as one because of this piece of wood. That's fine. All right. Nice one. Thank you very much. Indeed. It was a lot easier with four hands. <laughs> See, look, it's closing up. So, yeah. Okay, we have the classic tapered edge and cut edge over here. So what we're gonna do is so we're gonna try to straighten as much as possible. And the way you do that is that you basically add more of your compound, you know, the tape bit that I've been doing before. You basically pack it up. It would have been better to have had that piece here and then put a whole piece. But you know, we do things the more complicated way because it's more fun. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna work on that now.
Andrea has become quite professional. <laughs> I wish. I'm so happy so I don't have to do this. <laughs> The next step is to sand and add a second layer to the toilet and entrance walls. We also need to do the tiles in the bathroom, build a windowsill, planting more plants, building the cabinets for the kitchen, but that's for another day. We haven't been very consistent with videos because our family is over and we're enjoying some really nice time together. Thank you so much for watching guys, we'll see you very soon.